Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhirabhaka and let's play some middle game puzzles and that would help us to improve our gameplay overall. Uh, and it's all this is a nice idea when you are playing puzzles. Now, okay, this one looks kind of, kind of easy to me. I'm not sure if I'm thinking right. I'm thinking is to give a check with a bishop and then attack from the other side of the board can work out um surely can or what if i give a check first with the queen that's more forcing my opponent to take uh and then once he does i take the pawn with the bishop and that's checkmate actually that is the best move i think queen takes the pawn as a check opponent has no other option but to take and then I take this pawn with the bishop. Now, the uh, aspect of taking now uh, later on is that now my opponent cannot come here as well. Cannot, And he has to move the king because it's a double check with rook uh, happening. Uh, it's a discovered check, actually. And my opponent will have to move. Cannot go here. Cannot go to both the squares. That is a checkmate. Now, let's think generally what you would have thought is to take with the bishop first. And that was the first idea. But then what if the king takes with the queen? That can save the checkmate eventually. Yes, you can follow up with the check uh, once at least. But what after that? Maybe to, uh, And then the opponent can run to the other side of the board. Or maybe opponent can take with the rook and then run towards the other side. So a lot of things can happen. Uh, taking with the rook would lose, but taking with the king doesn't. Uh, so that can be interesting, but this is more compelling, as, as everyone says, play more compelling chess moves, don't play hope chess. So uh, don't hope that opponent takes with the uh, wrong piece and then loses, but rather play forcing moves. Now this is as forcing as it gets. That's a check to be, uh, begin with and opponent had to take, and it is the best move. And now once I take with the bishop, I'm covering everything. So this is a nice way. And then, of course, I can take the queen as well. That's checkmate. So that's how you should think in puzzles. Try to be more proactive, uh, evaluate the whole situation, and then move it only. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and give a thumbs up to the video as well. And let's continue. OK, now again, I'm being threatened of a checkmate. So the first thing when you are being threatened of checkmate is to make sure that it doesn't happen and now how can i stop this checkmate so the best way is to counter attack always uh if i take this pawn i get checkmate so that's not a, a way to go forward what i can do here is give a check with the queen uh, which is also going to attack the rook and i take the rook out of the game and then if opponent does exchange i am a bishop up and I can win this end game because pawns are equal on both sides of the board. So there is no passer here, a passed pawn. There's no such threat. Of course, I can give a check from here as well. But then, then what from there? Because open can run. And I probably can give another check, but then my open runs here. And then what? Maybe then then there's no maybe there's no check coming after that. So there are like two, three times you can give a check to the open, but then it will run away. Rather, give a check from where you can take a piece out of the equation as well. I'll take the rook, and that's winning. So, puzzle rating crosses 2060. That's nice. 2069. Okay, the next one. Uh, rook takes doesn't win me anything. Of course, I can take that, but doesn't win me anything. That's more important. Uh, have to play more compelling moves, as I said. Uh, what is more compelling here? I should either win a free piece or something like that, or maybe go for a checkmate. Now I have a move like queen to g4 as well, which attacks the king, which actually is a check. Uh, but then opponent goes here on dark square. Uh, and then, then what I can do? I can, there's nothing forcing happening from there as well. well I can take a pawn, that's extra pawn that I'll uh, gain out of the situation, but is that it or the puzzle holds something bigger that I'm not able to see? 
uh, there's no checkmate threat happening to me right now because queen is only eyeing the g1 square and a pawn a couple of pawns are hanging that is okay there's no empty file which is controlled by the opponent like suppose i move the bishop away that is not happening my bishop is blocked kind of otherwise this could have been nice uh so what are the moves i'm i'm remaining with rook takes uh again as i said doesn't win me anything significant maybe i should just start with oh actually i can win a piece there uh by moving my queen now i thought it better this time maybe if i give a check from here and my opponent goes here then i can take the rook for free because because well, i can take with not with the rook but actually with the queen yeah queen here uh attacking the king king goes sidestep and then uh the rook is spinning the pawn so i can take the rook if my opponent goes to the other side of the board now these two squares if my opponent goes there then what i give a check from here to begin with and then i can take a pawn as well and that should be it i think this should be fine yep this was the puzzle now i take and my open cannot take yeah so we found the solution right that's how you should think just take your time and try to solve com complex puzzles like this okay now this is a typical end game this can encounter be encountered anytime opponent has got extra pawns instead uh i would say one extra pawn and this side is completely logged so when the things are logged you just try to find the way out from there and you try to maybe sometimes log the situation further as well so that you can take advantage of the situation now if i take the pawn opponent does take back and then my king is cannot go here my opponent king has a move actually but if i lose the control of the third rank my opponent can eventually uh, slide in and he has got extra pawn as well which can be problematic eventually uh so uh, rather i would say uh what if okay first of all this is controlled by both my pawns and this square is also guarded so my opponent king cannot come from this range so this 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 uh square is completely blocked my opponent can king can make way from here eventually but if i play pawn forward here what does my opponent do he doesn't have a move if he plays pawn forward i take and i get a passer so moving the pawn forward makes more sense to me that's not the right solution what is taking but then opponent takes back and if i move ahead isn't that problematic because my opponent can oh cannot play pawn forward straight away uh and, and now i'm controlling the d5 as well my problem was d5 only so now my opponent cannot play that and this is more compelling so i missed out on this one uh, i should do better next time on the end game puzzle now moving the bishop can be dangerous here because that is eyeing a beautiful checkmate with three things lined up actually so how do i prevent this is the question now uh, also my bishop is hanging and i cannot save the bishop like just like that so i need a few combinations here to checkmate my opponent or win some serious advantage now what that can be there's a check coming from here and then pawn forward by opponent and then i can take this with the rook maybe yeah maybe looks looks like something that can be done this far at least is good um yeah i can take and defend the bishop for now oh, opponent does take now of course i can take the queen and that is fine so yeah this is this was i think easier uh i am have i have ideas of checkmate but my opponent is actually defending it right now so i need a distractor maybe uh what else we can do here rook takes knight is a feasibility but then my opponent loses something so i doubt that will happen can i trap the bishop i doubt uh 
maybe I can somehow by getting my rook here. My rook here would mean opponent goes maybe here. Yeah, opponent can go here as well. Okay, rook takes bishop. Rook, rook takes bishop. Pawn takes uh, the rook back. And then what? And then there's nothing maybe. Uh, how is knight here as a folk uh, to the queen and a bishop? And both are of same color too. Opponent queen cannot come here and defend. I think that should be okay. It looks like a good move to me. Yeah, a folk works. Now, again, don't be too eager to take with the folk. Take the queen first because queen is more important. Your opponent will have to take the queen. And then, of course, there's no mighty folk coming. So just take the bishop and stay happy. So this is again nice. 2083 approaching uh, 2100 on puzzles. Uh, but whenever I'm approaching 2100, I generally miss out on something okay let's see if i do it again or i survive this time uh bishop takes knight is something which can be done but my queen is hanging for now but yes if i do that first my opponent can take with the pawn as well so that opens up the last rank weakness as well not really a good idea i would say queen takes rook rook takes rook a uh, queen and rook takes rook is a check but my opponent can save okay i think he has to get the queen backwards and that would lose the queen and eventually the bishop would be hanging here i think that is the solution here i'll trade off okay my opponent takes this instead that's also a possibility which i again ignored somehow uh taking this doesn't make sense now or it does Opponent takes back and then then what? Mm, what we can do here? What if I take the knight and my opponent takes the queen and I take the queen? If opponent takes the uh, this and then okay, this is getting a bit confusing, but I think bishop takes the knight should be the way. Opponent if takes with this, then of course I can get my queen back. Uh, if my rook is also hanging, I cannot take this because knight takes. I think I have to take this first. This attacks the queen as well. Yep, this was winning. Now the best move is to take the bishop, as I was discussing. And now the next best move is to take the pawn so that my rook is now saved from the bishop. And now my opponent can choose to take either of things or just move is the best move. So yeah, this puzzle was winning. 2091 pretty close okay uh, now rook takes rook is one option which can be taken back with the bishop but after that i think queen over to e5 should be winning because it hits the bishop and the king simultaneously i think this is the right way i'll go with this no threats because bishop cannot come in between i can take with the queen itself so yeah this should be fine and i can take now wait uh is the checkmate happening that i don't need to take the bishop i can take this first and then my opponent can run away yeah let's not leave the pieces okay 2100 finally hint puzzles and I'll not play the next one because I don't want to lose or do it wrong. But it's an end game. I feel like doing again, uh, which I think I would blunder. Uh, playing pawn forward means it is compelling. Of course, my opponent has to make a choice of mo taking or proceeding and then taking with which pawn. So if I play and opponent does take, then I'll just move up with the other pawn. I think this is fine. Uh, okay, for the record, I'm on 2100. <laughs> if I blunder, that's fine. Okay, now I don't have to take maybe. Or I, if I proceed, uh, so I'll be here on the fifth rank. Uh, both the players will have... He will have four moves and I'll have three moves. So I'll get the queen first. If I trade here, opponent does take. And I go here, but then this is a square where my opponent's king is there. So if 
so the square rule says if the operant king is in the square of your promotion then he can capture your pawn any time so if i trade here now an opponent does trade and i then proceed further my opponent king will be just in time to stop me from promoting so to stay out of that square i have to move the g pawn ahead and that's why it's a success so i hope you uh, like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel please if you haven't already by now that is very much required for me to grow the channel further thank you so much for your time take care bye bye